Nothing is left to make the hearts happy and to remove the suffering. Muslims are like that thirsty person in the jungle or the ill person who is at his last breath. The promised Messiah salam, states that some people make fun of Muslims, some look at them crying. You will see that hearts have hardened and sins are increasing. Hearts have become smaller and the mind has darkened. Negligence, laziness and the increase of sin, ignorance and misguidance and disorder have all taken over. There is no trace whatsoever left of taqwa. That light in the heart from which one gains the strength of faith has extinguished. Eyes, ears and tongues have become dirty. Beliefs have become twisted. Understanding has been lost. Foolishness has manifested. In worship, pride, conspicuousness and show have entered. Blessings are no longer visible. Love and unity are being lost. And other grudges have also emerged. Every type of sin and ignorance is found in the Muslims. All kinds of cruelties and misguidance are visible in the women, men and children. In particular, the rich people have left the right path. As I have stated, the opposition leaving aside everything, the Muslim scholars have incited them and twisted them in such a way that they are at the forefront of opposing Ahmadiyyad. In the past few days, I was looking at a report of a missionary that he has a Christian friend. He came here to England to a Muslim acquaintance of his. He knew that this Muslim drank alcohol. He said, I purposely inquired from him during a conversation and I told him that I have some Ahmadi friends. So the Muslim was sitting before him at the time and he was drinking alcohol. He said that Ahmadis are not even Muslims. What are you talking about? Then I said to him that alcohol is forbidden in the Holy Quran and Ahmadis do not drink alcohol. Despite this, you say they are not Muslims. Ahmadis observe prayer in the same manner. Despite this, according to you, they are not Muslims. The Ahmadis I have seen strive to implement the teachings of the Holy Quran. Yet, you say they are not Muslims. And this is all despite the fact that you are sitting here before me drinking alcohol and are acting against the teachings of the Holy Quran and you are a Muslim. So he listened to this quietly, that is the Muslim, without replying. He was speechless, but the glass of alcohol was still in his hand. So I said to him, that is the Christian said to him, that do not worry, this just came out of my mouth. So I said this, so you can go on drinking the alcohol in your hand if you wish. So he immediately started drinking again. So this is the condition of the Muslims, but Ahmadis are supposedly not Muslims. The Promised Messiah, peace be upon him, states further. Signs were manifested, but they were not accepted. So the punishment of Allah descended. When they faced this punishment, they said, we consider you impious. That is, they considered the Promised Messiah, peace be upon him, as bad. They said, this plague has spread because of your falsehood. That is, the punishment sent by Allah, God forbid, is being sent because, God forbid, the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, made a false claim. This is how they react today as well. So the promised Messiah, alayhi salam, says further that Allah sent not any messenger without the support of punishments from the heavens and the earth, so that they desist from their bad acts. Thus, these punishments and disasters occur in the support of the promised Messiah, peace be upon him. He then says that, tell me amongst your kings, who during this storm made a boat to save the people? Rather, they drowned with the others. The scissor of the time has cut their nails. That is, the tide of the hour has left them insignificant, and their face was covered with dirt, and the era dried their water. Grandeur vanished from them. That is, their glory came to an end. They did do their best, but to no avail. Such trials surfaced that through their parliament and committees, and by placing camps of armies on the enemy's borders, they could not reconcile them. At times they gathered weapons and sent large armies, but they only suffered defeat and humiliation. The Promised Messiah salam, continues that now tell me, O doctors and physicians, what is the process of treatment in your view? 
Can these leaders remove the difficulties and ailments of the people? Do you expect these kings can remove the thorns from the garden of religion? Do you think these sicknesses will be treated through the effort of the Islamic states? No, absolutely not. The matter is much more difficult than finding fresh dates from a cactus tree. What can you expect from those who are buried under stones themselves? How can they lift their heads from under